Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solo and mute items in Reaper. As you probably already know, we can solo and mute our tracks in the track control panel over here. Like with my drum track, I can hit solo and we'll just hear the drums. Or we can mute the bass and we're not going to hear the bass. What you might not know is we could also solo and mute our items. For example, on this bass track, there's a bass slide in the beginning that sounds like this. Let's say we want to mute just that slide. We could put our cursor right over here, hit S to split this item, then select just the slide and right click it, go to item settings, and choose mute. And that mutes just this item. So now if we play it, the bass doesn't come in till this section over here. We don't hear the slide because it's muted. Now if we want to unmute it, we could select it again, right click, go to item settings, and just deselect mute. Or if we look up over here, there's a little button marked M for mute. We can hit this button and it's going to unmute this item. So now we're going to hear the slide. But if you notice, there's no button to mute the item, just to unmute it. But if we want that, and I do find this very helpful, we can go to the options menu, go down here to preferences, and scroll down to appearance media. And right over here, are the media item buttons. There's one for locked, muted, and so on. But we could also choose to add buttons for not locked or not muted or no effects. So let's turn on this button right here and hit OK. And now we're going to see a little M next to every item in our project. So we can just hit any of them to mute that item. And we could do it with multiple items at the same time. Just right click, drag to select multiple items, and just hit any of the mute buttons to mute all the items we selected. And we could unmute them the same way. Just right click, drag to select them all, and just hit any of the mute buttons. And that unmutes those items. Now we could also mute our items with keyboard shortcuts or actions. Let's go up here to the actions menu and choose show action list. And then we'll type in item mute. And there's a few actions we can choose to mute or unmute our items. Right over here, we can mute. Over here, we could unmute, or with this action, we could toggle the mute on and off. But the most useful one is this one right here. There's already a keyboard shortcut assigned to it. On PC, it's Alt-M, and on Mac, it's Option-M. And this is going to toggle the mute for our items or our tracks, depending on focus. Let me show you. Let's say we select some tracks, like our drums, bass, and piano, if we hit that keyboard shortcut, it's going to mute those tracks. Hit it again, and it unmutes those tracks, because those tracks are in focus. We selected them last. But if we select our items, either one or many, the items are in focus. So now we can hit that keyboard shortcut, and it's going to mute those items. Hit it again, and it unmutes them. So we could toggle our items that easily. Select it, hit the keyboard shortcut, and we can mute or unmute those items. Or just do it with tracks. Mute the track, unmute the track. 
And we could do a similar thing with solos. We could just solo certain items. Now, unlike mute, we can't select them and right click, go to item settings, because there's no mute over here. And we also can't make a solo button. In the preferences, there's nothing here. But we could still solo our items using actions. Let's reopen up the action list. Let's change this to item solo. And there's a bunch of actions right here that are going to trigger item soloing. And if you notice on this side, there's no keyboard shortcuts set up by default to trigger these. But of course, we could set up our own. We'll create a toolbar to trigger each one. So let's go through this. Let's say we select this item right here and trigger this action. It's going to solo just this item. And we could unsolo it with this action right here. Let's solo it again. And if we select another item and trigger that same action, it gets added to the other solo. So now we're soloing two items instead of one. And we can keep adding with this action. Select this one, trigger this action again, and now all three are soloed. And we can unsolo one at a time by selecting them and triggering the action multiple times. We're just hitting on solo all. Now we also have solo exclusive. So if we select this one and trigger this action, it solos this one. But then if we select this one and trigger this action, it unsolos the first one and solos this one instead. So it exclusively just solo the new item we selected. Select this one, trigger this action, and it solos this item and unsolos the others. And again, we could unsolo one at a time or all at the same time. And we could also toggle solo with this action. Select this one and trigger toggle solo. It solos this one, trigger it again, it unsolos it. We could also add with this action. So when we trigger it, it solos it. And if we select another item before we unsolo the first one and then trigger this, it adds to the soloing instead of toggling back off. But if we don't select a new item, it's going to toggle it back off like that. Or we could toggle solo exclusively. Let's unsolo all and just select the first one, toggle solo exclusive. And if we click another one and trigger the same action, it unsolos this one and solos this one instead. But again, it toggles. So if we don't select a new item and just trigger it, it unsolos that item. Or in this case, unsolos all. So we can set up keyboard shortcuts for any of these actions. But my personal favorite is this one. Let's add a keyboard shortcut to it. I'll use Control S. So I could select this base item, hit the keyboard shortcut, and it exclusively solos this item. Trigger it again, and it unsolos it. Or in this case, it behaves as unsolo all. But if we solo it and choose another, we can quickly jump around and soloing one selection at a time. So it'll turn off to one solo all, click this one, and we just hear this one. Right click drag to select all these items, hit the keyboard shortcut, it unsolos this item and solos all this. So I find this action to be the most useful. But of course, you can add a keyboard shortcut to any one or all of them you want. 
So that's pretty much it. That's how to solo and mute items in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.